Hello. Hello, good teacher. Morning, teacher. Hi, good guys. Good evening. How are you? Or good morning in, in, in Argentina. Oh, yeah. It's morning already. That's true. Good morning. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, teacher. How's everything? Hello, Otto. Nice to see you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yes. Gabriel. Carla. Otto. I'm right now. Hi, You're doing great. Thanks. You look great now. <laughs> Thanks, Josue. Welcome, everyone. Hey, Otto, you're oh, not working Always, tonight. Gabriel. Yeah, look at Gabriel. <laughs> Otto. Yes. Always, Gabriel is sleeping in the... <laughs> His hammock. In my <laughs> hammock. <laughs> All right. Um, so, we already finished the, the midterm, right? So, we're going to go on the, on section four. That's what we're going to start tonight, okay? I got it. I, yes, I know I that you and somebody else finished. Great. Good job. And the good thing is you have to continue being in classes even if you finish, right? You know that. So, here we are. Welcome, Josue, Miguel. Hey, Fabiola, welcome. Carlos, good evening. I hope you're doing well. I'm missing nine people. I'm gonna mess start messaging everyone. Hi. Hi, good evening. Okay, we're gonna begin section four. Please read the Jose. There you are. Welcome. Well, Fernando Lopez. Can you read the objective, please? See why. Rick Kamen is an inventor. Can you hear me? Yes, it's section okay. four though. <laughs> section four, so, practice asking and answering questions. Okay, okay. The same way. Rick Kamen is an inventor. He and his son. Sorry. No, I already, it's, we're not there anymore. I don't know what you're looking at, guys. Guys, can you see section 4.0 lesson objective? Is it me or is it Jose? Jose. Yes, yeah, me. Ah, okay. Jose, I think you have a delay. Uh, so, Jose, can you read this part, please? Hi, Leo. Okay. So, <laughs> hi, good night, everybody. Okay. Okay, start. Practice asking and answering questions in English using the present perfect and simple, pre, 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 simple past tense. In this lesson, English teacher Joe Sands explains when you use simple past versus the present perfect tenses, depending on the time frame on the action. Practice asking questions in the present perfect using the have you ever and describing your past experience by responding in both the present perfect and simple past. This lesson includes an English oral compression exercise. Exercise. Sorry. Thank you very much. It says comprehension. Comprehension. Uh, comprehension. comprehension. Yes. Yes. So we'll see the difference between the simple past and present perfect. Okay, let's watch. And please take your notebook, take notes so you can understand better. Here we go. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about the kind of food that you've eaten and the restaurants that you've visited. You'll also learn how to express past experiences. For example, you'll be able to ask and answer the following question. Have you ever eaten exotic food? Before I present the structure that we'll learn in this class, I would like for you to listen to an audio program. This audio program illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully as I'll ask you questions about the audio program at the end. 
Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Let me present the structure now. I would like to start by presenting this concept to you. The first thing is that we use the simple past for completed events at a definite time in the past. In other words, things that you did and have completed. And we use the present perfect for events within a time period up to the present time. In other words, events that you started in the past and those have continued to the present and they're not complete yet. Now, what we're going to learn in today's lesson is how the two are related. First of all, I may ask you a question, such as the one that you see on the example. Have you ever eaten snails? And your answer may be, yes, I have. And when you continue to give more information about your answer, you're going to use the simple past. And you're not going to use the present perfect to continue on giving more information because typically what you want to do is you want to express an experience that you had last week about that particular question, right? Such as the example that we see there. Yes, I have. I tried them last month. And I want you to notice the question towards the bottom. It's no longer in the present perfect, but it is now in the simple past. And that's because we're asking questions about our um, past experience. We're no longer asking questions about um, if you've ever eaten snails. Now the question is related to uh, the example that you see there, I tried them last month. And the next questions will be related to that event. And so the answer to that is, yes, I did. And then you give more information, they were delicious. And so we do the same thing uh, towards the left, towards, towards the right side of the example of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? We start off the question using the present perfect, and then you continue on and, and you give a, either a positive or a negative answer. And then in this case, it happens to be a negative answer. No, I haven't. Um, and then you might give more information, but I ate at a Thai restaurant last night, right? Um, and then the next questions that are followed here are in the simple past. Did you go alone? No, I went with some friends. Now that we understand the concept on how this topic is used, what I would like to do now is I would like to explain how to form questions using the present perfect. And, um, and so let me do that at this time. First of all, uh, we should learn the following concept that we're going to use have. Have it's an auxiliary verb. And we're going to use have when I write talk about the pronouns I, you, we, and they. And then I will use has whenever I talk about the pronouns he, she, or it, or in other words, third person, right? Um, and um, so having said this, what I would like to do now is I would like to present the structure on how to form those questions. Let me do that at this time. In order for us to form the questions, the first thing that we should include is an auxiliary have or has. As I mentioned, if we follow this rule, we learned that we're either going to use have if I talk about I, you, we, or they. And we use has whenever we talk about the third person. So in this case, um, we're going to use have. Um, and then this follows the subject. Then this follows the word ever and then the verb in its past participle form and then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever eaten snails? And by the way, um, this word here is a frequency adverb, so sometimes you can remove it um, and um, the question will still be correct. But in this case, we want to use it. Have you ever eaten snails? 
Um, and what I mentioned was that you can either answer this question with a positive response, such as yes, I have, or this could be a negative response, such as no, I haven't. And so just so that we can see clearly what's happening, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with the colors at this time. All right, there we go. So have you ever eaten snails? And it's the same thing um, for our next question. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? So let's do that one as well. So I'm going to use have. This follows the subject. And then we're using the word ever. So we use the verb to be in this case in the past participle form. And then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? And then once again, the answer to that particular question can be, yes, I have, or no, I haven't. And what I would like for you to notice now is how we respond to that kind of question, right? I mentioned that we can either have a positive response to that question, either yes, I have, or no, I haven't. And then this next sentence, we're typically going to follow with a simple past statement. And the reason is because um, I'm going to talk about my experience in the past. So in this case, I'm going to say I tried them last month. So this statement here basically talks about that past experience that I had, which is related to this topic, right? So have you ever eaten snails? And my, my answer to that question is, yes, I have. I tried them last month, so I, I'm using the simple past. And um, now the next questions that you see there, which is what I mentioned earlier, are in the simple past. Did you like them? Now all the questions are related to this event that you see here, right? It's no longer this question that you're answering. You're answering the next question. I tried them last month. So you want more information about this event from last month. Did you like them? And as you can see, the answer, yes, I did. They were delicious. And we can see the same example towards the right side of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? Well, the answer to that question is, no, I haven't. But I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. The next question that is asked here has to do with this answer. I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. Oh, did you go alone? Um, this question refers to the person going to that Thai restaurant last night. And he answers, no, I went with some friends. So as you can see, we use a combination of both, the present perfect and the simple past to talk about things that you either started in the past, continue to the present. And then when you want to go into talking about a past experience, that's when we use the simple past. So let's see if we can do a couple of more questions. Um, have you ever tried sushi? How would you respond to that question? Well, typically most people have, so most people will say yes, I have. And so tell me about that experience, okay? So. If you're going to tell me about that experience, then that's when we're, whenever we're going to use the um, simple past. So how would you tell me about that past experience? Well, have you ever tried sushi? Yes, I have. I um, ate sushi last month. Oh, sorry. I ate sushi last month. Oh, really? And then whenever you start talking about that past experience, the next questions that will follow will be in the simple past. Did you like? Did you like it? Now, how would you respond to that? Well, you can you can respond to that by answering yes, I did or no, I didn't. I thought it was great. Or, I didn't like it. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to answer the following questions. Have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Have you ever visited Europe? Have you ever eaten exotic food? 
um, as you answer these questions, what I would like for you to do is to answer the question with either yes I have and then I want you to tell me that past experience. So similar to the examples that we see on the chart, let's say the question is have you ever eaten Mexican food? All right, um, I'm not going to ex try to explain everything right now, but we're going to go little by little now that you have watched the entire idea. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is practice. Um, as you can see, you have some questions that I sent you. Look at the image. Check what's up, guys. And you will see this image. Let me see if you can see me. All right, this one. Can you see? I have opened that image, and we're going to be discussing. Okay. First question says, have you ever ridden a horse, a camel, or an elephant? So how are you going to answer that question? Yes, I... Uh, yes, yes I, I have, have or no I haven't, haven't. haven't. No. very good you know how to answer yes no questions now very good and then uh, try to talk about the experience for example if you ask me hey teacher have you ever ridden a horse camel or an elephant I can say yes I have uh, I have ridden a horse yes I remember I was really scared and I did it when I was five years old, I think. So you talk a little bit about the experience, but hold on, guys. But when you talk about that experience, you have to talk about it in the past. All right. First, answer the question. Yes, I have. No, I haven't. And then speak in the past. Is that clear? Yes, teacher. All right. Let's discuss all the questions. We're going to do that in small groups of three. Ready? Here we go. Okay. Yes. Fred. Okay. Okay. Accept the invitation, please. Oh, four. Um, have you ever received for more than a o'clock horse? Mm, stay awake. Yes, I have. When I was young and I studied in the university. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Now try to give some details in the past. Like Carla did, she said when I was in, you're young, Carla, what are you talking about when I was young? 
very young. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Some time ago, <laughs> when I was younger. So give um, more details in the past. Okay. Yes, I have. When I. Ah, okay, okay. So, um, yes, I 